My name is Muhammad Shakib and this is Master Tech. So today we have a uh, Omni ROM which is based on a uh, 7.1.1. Um, let me just going into the settings. Uh, it's running a uh, 7.1.1 nougat. And the build number is a uh, February 25th build and also you get a uh, update from here if you want to here you can check uh, update the rom is uh, completely uh, very nicely built and uh, also the the all the uh, transition and it is very smooth by the way if you slide down uh, and here is the uh, brightness brightness slider over here you can slide or you can just go automatic if you want to and just wanna do this for so here is the bunch of toggle you can edit the toggle from here you can drag and add the uh, tile over here or uh, there are not a much in this but you can set it over here the profile and also the setting uh, icon over here you also can uh, set uh, google now you can also install the google assistant if you want to you you may have seen a lot of videos about uh, google assistance so yeah so here is the wi-fi and all the basic stuff so here is the omni gears so we have over here is a uh, brightness control on and off or double tap to sleep uh, double tap to sleep is off uh, brightness control by sliding across this status bar also over here and also here is the double tap to sleep you can enable this if you want to here is the network traffic you can enable this to get a uh, get an update about your uh, usage of uh, network so you can do that over here is the network network usage let me go back and uh, over here is the basic uh, brightness control uh, sliding across the status bar you can also do this uh, via via this so this is uh, pretty basic features over here on this rom so here is the button you can adjust and set the button I think in in this buttons we have uh, buttons to wake up, uh, music control, uh, match rotation and force media volume, and also we have a navigation bar which we can enable over here. You can disable uh, the uh, hardware key from here. Also here is the kill app uh, back button, so you can uh, also so also you can uh, kill the, all the apps by uh, long pressing the back button. So you can also do that. Here is the power option. You can also uh, add over here. If you want to add any power option over here, you can. Here's the default uh, power option. You can also change it to the bottom or top. Over here is the notification LED. Uh, like uh, uh, you can get uh, LED notification customization over here. You can default it. Uh, uh, light screen on do not disturb and also the advance and you can also adjust the custom value over here here's the gen general uh, general settings over here you can customize the led led to dark or uh, black or any other color if you want to have a blue color you can also add add it over here also so you can adjust uh, the notification over here which is uh, which is always uh, the good or also you can adjust the speed of the led or uh, the pulse length also over here so just i'm just gonna go with the default one so let's uh, go back and also you can uh, change the uh, battery charging customization notification led light for a battery you can enable this uh, if if the battery is uh, uh, low than the pulse notification appear on the notification LED so that's the common on all the phones right now so on uh, here we have a style you can customize the header image on this like uh, you can uh, go with the light uh, light theme or a dark theme over here if you want to uh, I prefer the light 
so just let me go back to the light over here is the lot of uh, omni uh, wallpaper you can select over here also and uh, uh, one more thing here uh, over here we have a battery display you can always uh, always show the uh, battery uh, display over here so so show the percentage is always here is the part uh, if you enable this that will be shown on the status bar and uh, color while charging also enable you can enable over here and you can also change the led notification so that's a uh, pretty so color while charging when you are charging the phone uh, the led will be uh, at that color so you can set it over here and let me go back and show you the what more other thing if you are enabling uh, the image header over here and uh, let me enable this from here and you can also change it to dynamic to statistic and uh, here is the stats uh, over here is you can um, you can customize the header uh, for your needs if you want to have a like um, so you can um, browse the header over here and just uh, select this and it will be uh, set it like that you have to long press uh, you have to long press uh, any of these images to set uh, the header and also you can uh, browse the header uh, header if you want to so uh, this is the headers uh, image shadow you can uh, for the better visibility you can uh, brighten up uh, the image or you can also uh, create so here is the header and uh, let me go back and show you the more other things about this uh, rom so uh, let me tap on over to the more more on the more we have uh, omni gears again we have uh, also we have a volume dialog header enable this here is the uh, screenshot crop and share also over here you can you can edit uh, you can take a screenshot then you can edit the screenshot on that so here is the like uh, cropping or saving or share it which is uh, which is um, which is available on all the uh, roms uh, if i'm not mistaken so here uh, here we can see the frequency of our cpus over here and uh, and over here is a uh, wake clocks over here and uh, uh, all the all the all the deep down uh, things uh, down here so uh, that doesn't matter and also uh, over here is the so you can enable our ambient uh, display for pickup a pulse notification when the device is picked up when you picked up the device to the front uh, that will show you the black icon of ambient display so wave around the sensor that will be shown a uh, proximity sensor this is for i think approximate let me uh, let me try this so here we go here is the uh, ambient display if you wave around the proximity sensor that will show the ambient display i think the features is covered now it's time for a, a camera uh, test so let's be let's jump let's uh, head on over to the camera let's switch it over to the camera so it does work camera is does work on this uh, on this rom so let me just uh, switch it over to the front facing camera so front facing camera is also working but the shutter, shutter speed is uh, uh, slow So the camera of uh, working on this rom uh, I, I don't know why it still is working let's uh, check out the video uh, is there a video is working or not so yeah video is working fine on this rom as you guys can see see it on the screen let me just uh, switch off this and uh, you can also change uh, the uh, uh, resolution and quality over here and let me just switch in over to the front facing camera also you can record a front facing camera i think the camera uh, is working uh, fine as of now on this rom so yeah the camera uh, working on this rom perfectly as of now 
so also you can uh, clear all the button is over here clear all button over here uh, and that's the basic stuff let's head on over to the flashlight so now we're gonna check out whether the flashlight is working or not so your yeah, flashlight is perfectly working on this ROM uh, like this so flashlight and everything works fine on this ROM and unfortunately the view LTE doesn't work on this ROM so that's a drum credit I did uh, some benchmark on this ROM Android benchmark so let me show you the what we got on the Android benchmark so we got around uh, 81,641 on the Android benchmark. So that's a pretty good score for any ROM on the Redmi Note 3. Uh, and that's a pretty awesome ROM by the way. I think if you don't want to use a VOLT then I would recommend this ROM to use it. I think this is a solid ROM for a daily driver if you uh, if you don't want a VOLT then this is the perfect ROM for you. So that's all guys thank you for watching uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit like comment share and more videos like this thanks peace